Hi, this is Maji Noni, and if you've ever wanted to know what an Eagle Moss magazine looks like, but were afraid to spend the $15, $16 to actually see it up close, here's what it, basically what they look like. Um, I have a Marvel and a DC one, and as you can see, they're pretty much the, exactly the same uh, type of format. Here's the back sides. Now, my one complaint about the Eagle Moss magazines are, as you can see, this is the way it came. Came with a, a bend in it. Um, other times they'll get, you know, it'll be just normally like this. Because the thing you have to remember is when they arrive in the mail, uh, the way the package is, it's like a plastic bag, and then you have the um, the statue. Depending upon the size of the box for the statue, you might get a bend in it. Uh, if you get with the more uh, the limited, not the limited, but the super edition ones, where they're like the oversized ones, you know, like, like for example, like the blob. Uh, with the boxes, some of these actually come with posters, and uh, because the boxes are usually really big and then the figure itself is usually heavy, um, they have a piece of cardboard that's inside um, the, the the magazine. Now inside, this is the one thing I have to admit I really enjoy about these, is it gives you a background of the character. Uh, everything you'd want to know up until whatever happened at the time of the press. You get um, stats, you know, like for an example, the, their name, aliases, their first appearance, group of, of um, uh, affliction, affiliations, sorry. I don't know why I stumbled there. Um, also, there's important milestones with uh, what it, you know, the issues that they appeared in. And basically, what it does is it goes through the entire history of the like said, entire history of the character. Um, there's artwork everywhere, uh, and they use different artists depending upon um, the situation. And it, usually, they're, they're, they do include some iconic pictures, and they also include like uh, other ones. Like you just kind of go like, huh? And at the very end. It basically goes, okay, here's who's who, here's their friends uh, and allies, and here's their uh, villains, or people that are enemies, I should say. Uh, sometimes they give you, like, a history, too. Uh, like, DC had, like, a history of, uh, uh, like, the history of the DC Universe timeline. Uh, you know, it just depends on what they what they wanted, what, what theme they're, they're running at the time. This is the... Um, Carol one for the blackest night, and as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. And there's um, they give you the blackest night uh, storyline, and they kind of have like a. I don't want to say a poster, but you know, it's like at least a two-page spread of the different Star Sapphires and a little description about who they are. And in this case, uh, because this is a Blackest Night one, they're talking about the uh, who came back from the dead type of thing. So I don't know. This is basically what the the um, what Eagle Moss Life figure magazines look like. And uh, I thought you guys might want to be curious or maybe you might decide to uh, start picking them up and at least you know what they're what you're getting with that uh, if you have any comments or questions let me know rate the video up or down let me know what you think and I'll have more reviews up later so until next time